YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to show you what's in my bag, Beach Edition. So this is the bag that I took to Galveston. My sister came into town from where she lives. She is quite a long way from the water and she is a water person, so she wanted to go to Galveston. She and I used to do that every year when she still lived in Houston. So she and I and my mom went down there. We spent a night at a B&B and yesterday we went to the beach and this is the bag that I took for the whole trip. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, actually, let me spin it around a little more slowly so you can see from each angle what it looks like with a bunch of stuff in it. You can see I have my phone in the back and then from the top and from the bottom, not that that matters that much, but you can definitely see what's inside. For me, it's important what the contents look like. I try to keep this bag not looking too messy. It's definitely messier than I would like right now, but because you can see the contents, I try to make it look prettier than another bag's contents where you can't see what it looks like inside. So let's open it up and see what I have. And I actually took this to the beach part of Galveston, like in the sand yesterday for the first time. And I, I, one of the reasons I got this bag is I've explained, I think I explained in the unboxing, I got it to take to events where you have to have a clear bag, like, um, like if you go to a sporting event at a stadium and they require a clear bag, or we discovered my cousin's high school graduation, we had to have a clear bag which I didn't know, so I had to leave my Vuitton bag in the car. That was not fun. I also got it for the beach though, or for rainy days. I mean, the Vuitton Damier Ben works in the rain too, because there's no Vachetta, but this is a fun bag to have for the summer, for the beach. So I took it. Even though having it at the beach was one of the reasons I bought this bag, I found that I didn't want to put it down in the sand. We had a little wagon with us, so I put it in that and covered it with a towel because it has on the lining here, all these ridges where sand could, you know how sand just gets in everything. So sand could get all in there. That would be such a pain to clean out. And I hadn't thought about that before I got into the sand yesterday. So that's something to think about if you're thinking about this bag. This bag, if I remember correctly, is by Lamb Gallery. I know when they were really hot a month or two ago that these bags were selling out all over Amazon. So I'll link all those bags again here in this video in the description if you're interested in one of these. I've considered getting the black trimmed one too, but I don't think I need two of these bags personally. I don't think I'd use them often enough to have two. And the gold one I make work, I just wear the same outfit with it every time pretty much, which is white top, white bottoms, and gold jewelry. And that works really well with the, this bag. And of course, there are other outfits you can wear too, but I find that that works really well. Okay. Let's get to the what's in my bag, because this is already um, three minutes into the video. Okay, so we open it up here, and this bag has, it's obviously a um, inspired by a Chanel bag. It has this Mademoiselle lock that you turn, but it doesn't say Chanel anywhere on it. And of course, it has the chain strap, which you can double, or you can just pull one side up and use it as a longer shoulder strap. Another thing I noticed on this bag, having it at the beach, is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got kind of dirty there. So before I put it back in storage, I'm gonna wipe it down. And actually, after I take all the stuff out, let me show you how I store the bag, which is exactly the same as how it arrived to me. So let's just start pulling things out. First, I have a roll of dog poop bags. And I was carrying that because my sister brought her dog with us and my mom handed me the poop bags for some reason. So I have them. Um, ooh. And then we have some saltwater taffy. I bought a whole bunch of it down there. There's a place called La King's on the Strand in Galveston where all the shopping is. It's the old downtown, one of the old downtown, the downtown district, but one of the historical districts. Galveston is very historic. There are historic buildings all over the island. And La King's sells this taffy that they make there and you can watch them pull the taffy. It's really fun. So I had to have some of that in my bag to snack on. This case up front here is a sunglasses case that I got from Michaels for seven or eight dollars. And inside that, I have the sunglasses that I took that I also got from Michaels for about seven or eight dollars. And these are what I wore for the two days 
So I thought those would look really cute with the gold trim with this handbag. So I have those right up front so you could see the little Hello Sunshine and the gold accents and the little sunglasses there. And here's what it looks like now. So you can see I've got my lotion, which I did remember to use, and I had a hat on the whole time. Um, so that's the Neutrogena lotion. That's my favorite, only because that's what the boyfriend uses, so I use it too. I have my brand new Louis Vuitton Damier Azure Clay, and I just used it as my wallet in this bag. So when you unzip it, this was the first time I took it out because I just got this. I've got several cards in there and store cards. I've got a little cash and some receipts. All right, I've got my little camera that I took to take some pictures with, obviously, because they're better quality than the phone. I've got my little, um, what is that called? Hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Usually I would keep this in my toiletry 15, but I didn't take that because there wasn't room. So I took my, I took my mini pochette instead, and I didn't want to keep it in here in case it leaked, because this is not a waterproof liner. So in here I have, I'll pull this stuff out for you, I have tissues, I have my little tiny folding sun, or I always call them sunglasses, my tiny reading glasses. I'll link those below in case you're interested in them. I have my Clippa bag holder, which by the way, when I talked about this, and it goes like this, like on a table and you hang your bag here. One of the things I forgot to mention is that you can also use this as a bracelet and it's nice. So clippers are great. I'll link that below also. I've got my L'Occitane lip gloss, not lip gloss, lip balm, the apricot flavor. That's my favorite scent there. Some band-aids because I had some shoes that are still kind of new and tight so I put those around the back of my ankles um, to stop the shoes from cutting into my foot. My Tide to Go pen which is a must-have. I take that everywhere with me. It gets out wine stains, all kinds of stuff. I'll link this below too. Especially if you're wearing white, that helps. My pen from Pen Gems that I always keep in my bag. There's the little gem on the top. It's a nice pen. Frankly, there are other pens that I like a lot better than that, but it's pretty. My nail clippers, I prefer the giant ones, the toenail clippers. And then these little, um, I'll link these below to these little applicators for applying the lip gloss so I don't have to put my fingers, lip balm, so I don't have to put my fingers down in it. And then there are two things left in my bag. I've got this little notebook. I try to always carry a notebook and a pen with me because you always have to write something down, especially when you don't have a notebook and pen with you. And then in the back pocket here, I've got my phone. Now the phone, I've said this before, it sticks in there because it's glass on this PVC plastic. So I have to put my hand down in there and like unstick the plastic from each other and really squash the phone down in. Right now it's not bad, but when the bag is full, you really have to kind of squash the phone in there. And I always keep it where I can see the screen and I can, it's actually upside down from how I keep it. I can see the screen and I can press the little button to turn the screen off when I get a notification because it's difficult to get in and out. So I can pull it out and, uh, or I can press the thing to turn off the notifications without having to pull the phone out and deal with all that. So that is what's in my bag. Now let me show you how I store the bag which is, I think, important for this kind of bag. Otherwise, it's just going to kind of fall in on itself and lose its shape, as you can see. Okay, I just kept the original packing material. What I do first is take this tissue paper that also came with the bag, and I slip that into the back pocket where I keep my phone. So that just looks like that. And that keeps the plastic pocket from sticking to the bag while it's in storage. The next thing I do is I take that dust bag, and I place it over the top flap here. See that? And then I press the bottom of it down inside. And then the next step is the bag came with this bubble and I slip that down into the bag. So I slip it down like that. And then I take 
that plastic piece and just kind of fold it over and lock it like this. And that keeps the front flap from sticking to the bag. So simple, simple, but it keeps the bag in shape. And it's so helpful that they sent this to me with that plastic bubble. Very helpful. All right, that's it for the what's in my beach bag. I hope you enjoyed it and that there was a little bit of helpful information for you in there if you have that bag or want one of those bags. Remember, I'll link all the bags that I can find in previous videos. Uh, I'll link those below, all these clear plastic ones. And I will also link a few of the other things that I had in my bag if you're interested in checking those out. Those are all on Amazon. That's it. Thank you for watching. Remember to click the like button, the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.